Chris, a thank you. We are digging deeper tonight into a fight at a local nursing home that turned deadly. Police say a woman in her 80s died two days after she was beaten by another resident. And tonight we're learning the nursing home has a poor record with state and federal agencies. Now the fight happened Friday morning at the Emerald South Nursing Home on Delaware Avenue. News Wars Dave Graber has more on what happened, Dave. Well, Don, state and federal records show dozens of violations at Emerald South since 2012. Several of them repeat violations. Indeed, the federal Medicare website shows the nursing home has a one-star rating, or much below average. Now, authorities are investigating the death of an 83-year-old woman, and whether it's criminal, the result of negligence, or an instance of both, remains in question. Beyond the state's Department of Health, both Buffalo Police and the Erie County District Attorney's Office say they're investigating the death of a woman at this nursing home, Emerald South, located on Delaware Avenue. Staff at the nursing home told Buffalo Police on Friday the 83-year-old woman was injured after she mistakenly walked into the room of a male resident. The woman has Alzheimer's disease, according to her daughter. Emerald South staff reportedly told the daughter that her mother had a laceration on her head, a scratched nose, and a bruised backside. But doctors at ECMC told police the woman actually had facial fractures, broken ribs, a broken nose, and a collapsed lung. Although she was listed in sable condition over the weekend, she later died. An autopsy performed yesterday showed the woman's injuries contributed to her death, as did her age and poor health. This isn't the first time Emerald South has been the target of an investigation. Inspections by the Department of Health since August 2012 showed dozens of standard health and life safety violations, more than four times the statewide average. Among the complaints during that time, most of which were reported by the facility, Emerald South amassed nearly 152 complaints per 100 occupied beds, compared to the state average of 41. Now, a woman who answered at Emerald South this afternoon declined to comment. She also declined to provide the name of the facility's administrator, who she says handles inquiries by the press. When we tried a different method, the voicemail box for the administrator, Ruth Long, was full. Ms. Long did not return a call seeking comment. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dave Graber, News 4 at 6.